Hello, everybody. Welcome to another video. Bulls grab activity. We're gonna play some Walking Dead, so we can get back to where we were. I'm not sure where we were, so I'm starting at the main screen, or the one of the main screens, because I don't know where it's gonna take us. Because I don't want you guys to loop for, miss anything. So here we go. Do I get to talk, or do I have to uh, be quiet so you guys can hear the story? Oh man, Clementine, it was so awesome. I love Duck, he's so adorable. I love Kem and Duck, he's so adorable. Ah, poor Lee. Amen. Did that zombie in the picture next to that younger one guy wear the guy the same thing he was wearing, or was that something else? Hmm. Can't remember. Okay, let's see. Why did this guy over here? Hey, go ahead. I think I need to go. It would let. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to get trapped with things. Not like we have much to begin with. Don't be mad. You do the same thing. Okay. Find your friends. Stupid cup. Why'd I put it right there? Uh, I'll put it right there so I can see what I'm reading. Okay. I'll put, yeah, I'll put it over there instead. <laughs> okay. Find your friends. I think... Or, there we go, that sounds nice. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. You know, I don't think we'll ever see this guy again, but I'm not sure. Come on. I'm gonna go to the next thing. Oh wait, it's a pizza car! <laughs> Is somebody's gonna go deliver some pizzas to the zombies? That sounds very interesting. Brain pizza, um, flesh pizza, um, what else do pizza the zombies eat? Oh. Leg bone, knee bone, pizza, let me see what else can I just think of. Ah, uh, what else do zombies, oh. Um, what else do they, okay, I'm gonna shut up before I get stabbed. <laughs> Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showed up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Ah, I mean, he's just a good guy. He's just a good guy. Oh my god. Ah, I need to stop things. Stop. Don't, don't blurt out. Don't blurt out what happens. Don't blurt what happens. That's not good. That's not good. That's not going to be good to do. Okay. Can we talk? Who else do we talk to? I forget. Do we talk to her? Yep. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. It's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Uh, I'm sorry, Carl. 
It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. Wait, Kara. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Also, did she have a boy's name? No, Carly's a girl's name. I would get confused because Sam is both. A boy and a girl's name, like... Oh man, check this out. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or Not what? Like that. Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. I didn't mean it like that. Hey, I meant like she's Lee, a good person. Do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. The guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. You know, I'll laugh at this last of the chapter. We have to watch that whole entire end cutscene. <laughs> okay. Who said it first? I forget. Was it Lee? I mean, was it Kenny? Was it, um, what's her name? Whoever said we have lights, they just jinxed us. Okay, I can talk to her on this part because they already know what's going to happen. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd stop us. Or no, us I'm not talking on this part. I want you guys to hear this. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy! I'm Andrew oh, St. John. God, We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You've never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him! This isn't happening! Oh, I remember this part. 
No more, please! Please! <laughs> yeah, I remember. I know what we're doing now. Oh, man. I hate this chapter. Or this episode. There's a lot of things that happen. This is just crazy right here. Like, this is just telling you how many people voted for different things. And, oh, no. Wait, can I, can I get out of this part? I can. Cause that's not. This is not really important. So I'm just gonna exit out, go to back to the main screen, and go to the next uh, chapter. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Here comes lots of fighting. This is gonna suck. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna die a couple times, probably, because I'm not good with I know these who you are. Thanks. Oh, I got Dude. another good one for you. But this is sort of happened. What happened last uh, episode? We already saw all this, so I can talk you through it. All by yourself through this? Yeah. Oh, man, that I want girl my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front I, I, door. I You're our lookout. You guys, I ruin the Doug, for you, guys. you got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in oh, with Doug Carly when he needs you. Name, you got okay. it, boss. Bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Just be quiet, you old fool. You want to be rude to us because we I said I liked your daughter. I didn't like your daughter like that. I'm saying she's a good person. I would protect her with my life if I had to. I wouldn't. I, wouldn't, I don't want to date her. Ew. She's too much of a butt like you for me to like her like her. So around her and him... We have to make sure we watch it, our answers, because that might make him... Because it would change... Because that's going to change something. And what's going to change? Okay. Oh, a few months went by. Okay. So they've been there for like a couple months. Man, what'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Oh, so it's been Maybe three months. Shouldn't have okay. opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. <laughs> yeah, between the yeah. lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. There's you know, moss. Kenny's been talking about taking you off if he can get that RV running. You might have some massive diarrhea, but... Maybe he'll be better off without us. And we'll have three fewer mouths to feed. And one fewer gun hand. One way or the other, it's a bad situation. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Don't. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. Yeah. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. Yeah, and didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, and if 
he's a zombie, it's ten times worse. Dude, don't waste a shot. That's not even much to eat. Don't. Gun saddle bring walkers. Or birds not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Yeah. Sit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! sound like Kenny, guys. You sound like some random person. Man, I like how fast they're running. Run faster! Ah! Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Jesus Christ. I remember this. Oh, oh shit. God. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Hey, you guys okay? Get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Ken, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Oh, no. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, he keeps screaming hurry. and enjoying walkers. Oh. Yep. There we go, there's Lee, one. The trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Oh no. Can you just stop panicking for us and let us do this guy? No, never leave. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Penny, keep those walkers off of me. Okay, I know we don't he can't, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Come on, do something! No, 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 please, do something! something. Fuck! Uh, please! God. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Try to get the chain! to cut you out. No, no, no! We try the trap to. again! Anything, please! We have to cut it off, let's guy. Let's go, let's go! Ah! Ah! Oh, God. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, it has to be now. I hate this part. Okay, one more slice. Cut off his fucking leg. Just one more slice. One more slice. Okay, he's out. He's out. Oh my. Shit. Is he? He passed out. Uh, well, they have something to eat when they're not going to be, so they can not pay attention to us. Okay, grab him, let's go! Come on! We don't have time for this! Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Come on, run! I know he's gonna... <laughs> Stupid moron! Why would you just run, not look back and fo and look back when you're running, walking backwards? Don't walk backwards. Just run towards your friends, you stupid moron! Like, wait, we didn't really have time for that. Like, God, this that guy was annoying. Okay, here we are, back at base. She loves Callum like a daughter in a way. A messed up type way. Get the 
Gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, no, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else. Just us. How do you know he's not lying? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Okay, I hate this part. Well, first, I'm doing the kids, because the kids need more food than us. Well, first off, the kids. And I guess they now, they'll do Kenny, then K Kenny's wife. And, I don't know, who else should we do? I think, I don't know if how much we have. I'm not keeping one for us, cause... How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Yeah, where did okay, her hat go? Uh, like, I gotta take care of some things. Strange, like it just disappears out of the blue, while. like... Okay. It's not like the wind can take it. <laughs> ah, that Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Mm, half an apple, I guess. I love apples. <laughs> Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Okay, and let's give Duck one. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Uh... Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Mm-mm-mm. I know I shouldn't... I know I should 
even this out. But I want to give Want Kenny something, something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. I don't even know. Okay, let's see. Keep it for later when you're yourself now. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Okay. There's Kenny. He got his food. Now, who should How's we How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. <laughs> I'm not picking favorites. I'm making sure the kids eat. You know, you're... Uh, would, okay, if you had a kid, would you feed the kids first or would you feed yourself? You know, good. You know what? I wasn't going to give you food, but you. Because you don't need food. I don't know what to give this to. Should I give it to Kenny's wife? Or should I give it to this girl over here? She's been doing two stuff too. Or I'm not gonna give her any because. Or should I give it to her? She's just trying to. Mm, Cause she's being a real butt face. I'll ask her. I know she probably will take because she's just gonna be mean. Or here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. Mm -mm -mm. This doesn't change anything. Whatever. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey. Thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. You know, he was out there hunting for food for you and your family, guy. So stay off of Kenny. He's trying his he's trying his best for this stuff, and you're just gonna you're, you're just sitting there putting on a wall. Wow, a wall. He actually risked his life to save your your butt. So you need to chill the heck out. Frame, shove a food up your butt, a boot up your butt, or something. However that saying goes, because. Is There's he no gonna reason. be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah, uh, sure. sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted. Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. That is true. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Man. Okay, we helped her now. Who should we talk to? I'm not, I don't want to talk to him. I really don't. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. How he always did not help you then. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Captain can save him. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> That's so funny. Her name is Gotcha. I forgot his... Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. No one's talking to you, old man. Shut your mouth. Go to your nonsense. We're talking, not you. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. 
You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Sorry, there, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'm gonna give it... I'm not giving it to that. I'm giving here, it Mark, to this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? It's true. Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Man. Man, I'm not saying he's gonna die. I mean, I mean, nothing. You didn't hear nothing. I, I need to stop Sandy. talking. Come here, please. Okay. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Asshole. Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Oh, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Harley. Are you armed? Yeah. For protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower yeah, your guns, we, we can talk about some yeah. kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Yeah. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? 
No deal. Okay. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Yeah, right. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. Man, this this Lily Kenny thing, thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Doesn't matter. You've got to let go of that guilt. The Lee I know is a good man. Clementine knows. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the Senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Jolly. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra yeah, helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Oh, Everything man, helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Damn. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pumping the shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it There's all to yourself. Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get you to the dairy. You tell me that safe. twice. <laughs> wow, that's nasty. <laughs> I think I'm enjoying this like I am, because I'm not talking as much as usual. Here it is. St. John, family <sighs> day. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. <laughs> the fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. It is, Harley. It really is. Ever have any accidents? Uh, it's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. 
I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old that motel. So oh nasty. my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. Or we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. <laughs> It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be yeah. a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little yeah. something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. Mm -hmm. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. Yeah. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Mm. Man, I hate these people. I need to be quiet before I ruin this for you guys again. Ah, mm -mm -mm. oh, man. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. <laughs> Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Man, we have Take 12 minutes. Oh, man. You know, I might make another uh, Walking Dead here. after this video. Because I want, I want to do this again with y'all because... This video felt so short. I don't I hate this place. I'm getting bad. I'm getting scared every time I'm, I'm over here. And I'm bad, my head is going. You have to do this. You have to get out of here quick. Could be can. useful if I can find some boards to cut. Okay. There's some boards. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? Yep. I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay, let's speed it up. Okay, that button right there speeds it up. He walks so weird. Look at this. He's like, up, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Uh, I'm dumb. I need to just stop. The board talking. is good, but I need some rope. Rope. Uh, you know, can I just take the, uh... Where can I... Okay, where is the rope? 
Cause I want, I want to try to like, you know, fix that. I'm not touching it. So this world has to be somewhere. Gas right there. I know there's a rope somewhere though. I've seen it. But do I talk to this lady for the rope? This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? Mm, yeah. This place was my daddy's life. It meant everything mm -hmm. to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left for Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourself. over here. I can't see that. Is this a bucket? Okay, there we go. This rope is perfect for the swing. Oh, wait. Why can't we can go back in there? Why can't we go back in there? Nothing else I need in here. Mm. I wonder what's in there, though. You know, I could have swore we could have talked to one of the people and they gave us the rope. I don't remember that. Hmm. I, might, I might be overthinking it because I don't like this part at all. The only reason I'm going to be putting this, doing another video of this, because I want to get out of this area quick as I can because all right. this, this just gives me um, a very bad stomach ache. Well, happy day. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. <laughs> Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. <laughs> Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Okay, I'm gonna touch you, tell you guys what I'm thinking next video about this because I think I know what happened to their father. I think a few of you will know that too if you played this before. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what. We'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Yeah. After fixing the perimeter. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. We're supposed to talk to this guy saying we want to help with the thing. Don't we? I forgot. I wasn't... I don't like talking to these Hi. people. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that mm -hmm. folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Okay, and also, I want to do a back-to-back -back video of this. After this, I'm going to... After I'm doing this video, I'm going to do my my routine real quick and then I'm gonna head back in here and open another video for you guys to enjoy. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they so moved on, looking this. for the people they lost contact with. Okay. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Okay. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, 
Well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Mm. I hate this part. This always feels like a setup. In my opinion, I don't know if you guys know it would tell if you guys seem like this is like a setup, but it seems like a setup to, to me. To like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Ew. There's one. Okay. Ugh. This is this is nasty. Please, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Well, first off, let's take the arrow out. Disgusting. Ugh. It really is. Come on. Off. Ugh. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. Okay, come on. Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. It's getting close to the time we have to end this video here. Let's try to get, okay, I'll try to get, what time, time do we have that slow up when we're doing this? I have two minutes, okay, so if I can get these, this guy off, I can end it here. Oh. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> okay, nope. this, when is these people talking? Christ, I can't stop it's, thinking about it's dinner. Gone. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. Mm -mm. I get hungry too, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole okay, group I'm of people? Okay, I'm just gonna pause it here. Okay.